Thank you. I am uh, extraordinarily excited to have you all here today. Uh, uh, the, now, the students from Oakton High School uh, are going to be demonstrating the Cougar Cannon designed to scoop up and toss moon rocks. Uh, I am eager to see what they do uh, for two reasons. As presidents, I believe that robotics can inspire young people to pursue science and engineering, and uh, I also want to keep uh, an eye on those robots in case they try anything. <laughs> it, it, and uh, finally, allow me to thank the many leaders here today who've agreed to be part of this historic effort to inspire and educate a new generation in math and science. You know, we live in a world of unprecedented perils, uh, but also unparalleled potential. And that leadership tomorrow depends on how we educate our students today, especially in those fields that hold the promise of producing future innovations and innovators. And that's why education in math and science is so important. So I'm here and you are here because we all believe that we can't allow division and indifference to imperil our position in the world. It's time for all of us in Washington and across America to take responsibility for our future. And that's why I'm committed to moving our country from the middle to the top of the pack in science and math education over the next decade. To meet this goal, the Recovery Act included the largest investment in education in history. Well, it depends on all of us. And that's why back in April at the National Academy of Sciences, I issued a challenge to encourage folks to think of new and creative ways of engaging young people in science and engineering. And we are here because the leaders in this room answered that call to action. Today, we are launching the Educate to Innovate campaign, a nationwide effort to help reach the goal this administration has set, moving to the top in science and math education in the next decade. These efforts extend beyond the classroom. Time Warner Cable is joining with the Coalition for Science After School and First Robotics, the program created by inventor Dean Kamen, uh, which gave us the Cougar Cannon uh, to connect one million students with fun after-school activities like robotics competitions. The and today I'm announcing that we're going to have an annual science fair at the White House with the winners of national competitions in science and technology. You know, if you win the NCAA championships, you come to the White House. Well, if you're a young person and you've produced the best experiment or design, the best hardware or software, he ought to be recognized for that achievement, too. Scientists and engineers ought to stand side by side with athletes and entertainers as role models. And here at the White House, we're going to lead by example. 